Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, the funny game where people get beat up. It gets simpler every day, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, not much to say about this game except we're beating up our friends and apparently Lapras is uh, stupid. Yep. I don't really got much else to say. <laughs> I mean, we. Last time we did Naoto uh, Shiragane's uh, route, and what we've discovered is Naoto met the, uh, the, uh, what is it, Seas. Which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and get started. Get the audio going. Hello, audio, and then let's get the audio going. Alright, good. Okay, now it's time to decide who we're going to do next. Something's pulling me to Kanji or Mitsuru. Hmm. Hang on. Let me get a thing out. I think we're gonna do uh, Mitsuru's. Why not? We got nothing else to do. And besides, I'd like to see what Mitsuru's been doing since uh, Seas has happened, since Persona 3 has happened, so why not? Late November, the year 2010. The darkness fell without warning. At the same time, the previously busy examination room fell so silent that the man's ears hurt. Hey, what happened? Huh? We called towards... 2010 was 13 years ago? <laughs> no, don't say that, bro. <laughs> we, he called towards the back of the room, but no one answered. No answer came. After working for public safety for over a decade, he thought a little could fa fade him anymore, but this was uncomfortably alien. It was no ordinary blackout. If I, if it were the faint light from the machine running on battery power, such as cell phones, would remain. But the silence disturbed him even more. He hadn't heard such, so much as a single cry. As he looked around, he saw a spot in the darkness, without giving up to an eerie glow, as if the paint an incandescent pigment. Oh heck! <laughs> Nah, bro, who brought it back? Tartarus, man. <laughs> who brought back Tartarus? Why is Tartarus back? Who, why is the Dark Hour back? <laughs> Once his eyes began to adjust to the darkness, he was able to faintly make out the area around that light. The shining spot is revealed as small, strangely de decorated box. One that man could only deliver to a f forensic unit. Forensics team! What the hell is... Wait. Wait a minute. He didn't get transferred. He didn't get transformed. Does, does that mean he's a Persona user? But as the shape resolved, he saw that it was not a person's shadow at all. He had no words to describe it. At first glance, it seemed to be a coffin. Indeed, this is what it was. This is what it was shaped like. But he... Had never seen a coffin stand upright, tall as an adult, shining like a dark crystal. Yet that was, yet that was clearly what the crystalline. Okay, thanks, phone, for going off so loudly. Okay, whatever. And upon closer examination, it wasn't the only one. At the desk in front of the evidence shelf next to the reference computer, the object tower towering everywhere as if it was taking the place of what humans. Are these? A chill ran down the man's spine. Their people was the thought that instinctively came to mind. Was that the reason he couldn't hear anyone else's voice? Was it because everyone but him was What's going on? Listen, dude, I have no clue what's going on. Once the fear had set in, it wasn't easy to shake off. His familiar office was starting to look like a grosset netherworld. He felt quite sure that he was getting out. Quickly, he turned and grabbed the knob to the door through which he came, which he had just entered. But... What the? It's locked! 
but it didn't budge. It wasn't that the door was locked, preventing the knob from turning the latch. The knob was completely frozen in place. Is anyone here? Hey, let me out! But don't worry, man. It's just going to last another hour. You could just sit in this room for another hour. The man slammed his fist against the door, yelling in desperation. But the se sensation he felt from the first impact the surface wasn't that of hitting a door. It felt completely completely at odds of what he saw, as if the picture of the door has been drawn onto a solid wall. It was then that the man noticed another light, similar in color to the immaculate... Wait, what? Matting from the em emanating God from the box, but he could see part of his hand as if smug it towards it was ringing. It suddenly he remembered when he brought the small box, he found several bizarre ring shaped obje objects within. While handing it over to the for um, forensics, he, he suspected that they might be the rings. To check the theory, he put one on, and now that the ring was emitting the same eerie light as the box. Though he had still no idea what was going on, it was immediately apparent that it was directly related to the current situation. The man grabbed the ring with a sweet, slicked finger and tugged, ready to pull off his own finger if necessary. But just at that moment... I wouldn't take that off right now. What? Ah, oh, brother, here comes Mitsuru. What? The man could help but gasp. He looked around but, but could sense no one inside the room with him. Where had that voice come from? I'll be from? there to rescue you shortly. Calm yourself and wait there. When the man calmed himself, he realized that, that, that it wasn't just a voice. The sensation was indescribable, but it was a distinct, distinctly unlike hearing with one's Who's ear. Who's there? Oh, he said, he said the... Oh, Sorry. pardon me. This is Mitsuru Kirijo. We met earlier. Kirijo? He did know a Kirijo. It was she who brought the strange small box. Why is it being told as if Mitsuru is describing what the man sees? What? That is a weird... And that wasn't all he knew. The Karijas were a wicked family who used their fortune and influence as a shield, a constant frustration to the police. Despite that, the man couldn't help but feel relieved wash over him. Perhaps he might survive this after all. Oh... Well, I appreciate the help. After getting the, after getting the muttered words out, he sank to the floor and the door at his back. Mitsuru Kurijo, if you can recall correctly, she was the eldest daughter of the Kurijo group founding family. He noted that her voice had been far calmer than his, despite the uh, situation they were both in. He sensed a measure of trustworthiness from her, and to think it would merely be an out. Merely an hour ago that he was asking himself why such a young girl has been chosen as the head of the Carrillo group at all. Oh great, we're here. The digital clock on the corner of the desk quietly announced the arrival at 10 a.m. 10. 10 in the morning, yeah, 10 a.m. Normally most of the staff would be out and about by now, but the entire police department was t turmoiled today. It was only to be expected with a key figure of Carrijo Group uh, visiting an unusual Carrijo, business. Huh? The Carrijo Group was a major trading firm, synonymous with Japan. They had links to all areas of business. Not a day could go by with the city without hearing their name. The clock that had struck 10 bore the logo of Carrijo's electronics, and KG was the carrier for the cell phone provider to every member of the force. A few days ago, the name Carrijo Group had made seemingly insane proposals. They documented was hundreds of pages, but a brief summary could read, we wish to collaborate with the police on an unofficial department of eliminating monsters. Well, it does happen from time to time. Famous businessmen end up advocating cultish nonsense in pursuit of their ambitions. Upon considering, it was decided that the Carrijo Group would be invited in to give their pitch. Of course, there was no intention of sp um, spending tax money on the outlandish proposal. The police interest is humoring the Carrijo group lay elsewhere. The Carrijo group had offered an insensitive whereby, whereby if the police agreed to be meeting, they would provide a detailed lift of er ergonomic research labs artef artifacts as well as an actual sample. It was that that drove the official decision. 
for there have been dark rumors band banded about the Carrillo group over the last 10 years. While still the family run business, some said the old man Kat Katsu Carrillo had de delved into the paranormal research that had been performing inhumane experiments. The police collected enough evidence to test the rumor and had prepared many times to force an investigation, but every time the investigation came to nothing due to the group, exerting hidden pressure, frustrating those working on the case to no end. Investigation pr prime target was the infamous Ergo Research, the Carrillo Ergonomics Research Lab. Exposing the Carrillo group's dark side had been a dream of the public safety for 10 years now. And now, Carrillo seems willing to hand over Ergo's research tightly guarded secrets on a silver platter. No one knew the reason for this sudden about face. But neither did anyone else of turning... Need, 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 yeah, whatever. Are we seriously going to listen to the entirety of what... You know what? It's whatever. They agreed to, uh, to submit not to hear out whatever proposal Carrillo was offering, but at the stepping stones towards unearthing their past crimes. Time passes and agreed upon time in the afternoon came. The man was, was tasked with watching over and bringing the, in the artifacts from the uh, Carrillo group. Though he could not... Speak with the guest, the police bl plan afforded him a major responsibility, one that gave him something like a leader role. And here comes Richard. Is this just a book? Where's the fight? That's what I'm saying. Where's the fighting? It's just a fucking book. It wasn't long before the Carrillo car arrived in the underground Port de Chirac. Port de Chirac. The staff had to receive the guest only shrugged at the long black lim lim limousine that could, that would have turned heads on the main road. One of the youngest recruits looking towards the man and asked Chief, question, what's with that car? <sighs> but that was the least of the surprises in store. When the Carrillo group representative stepped out of the limousine, she was revealed to be a beautiful young woman, no older than a university student. Not only that, but she had attended attended dresses in what would only be described as made at uniforms. All of them were young women roughly her age. The scene memorized mem God memorized the, the various di digitaries presented to greet Thank her. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Hello, I am Mitsuru Kirijo, representing the Kirijo group. It's nice to meet you. If I bought this, I would have said great. I bought a book with a side of fighting game. I know. Hello, Mitsuru. How are you doing? Her brisk reading radiates poise. From there, she shook hands with the assembly uh, dietary in a manner that shows that she was no stranger to social Jeez, gatherings. The, company rep. Really? the young recruit who was sneaking, looking, looks out of the corner of his eye, muttered in spite of himself. The said the rep who's coming today would be the leader of this new unit, but I thought it was supposed to be some hardcore armed response team. And she's leading it? Well, I guess it's better than some meathead. Hey, be nice to the meatheads. Shut up and hold your position. But in truth, the man felt the same way. Certainly, this monster extermination unit would never be incorporated by even if it... But even if it were, he was sure that the wisp of a girl could never do such work. Eventually, the dietaries entered the agency along with the Miss Carrillo. All of them wore lopsided smiles due to the young lady's beauty, unexpected appearance, but the, but that would do for now. The dietaries were only there to receive her. Their true objective was loaded into the truck parked behind the limousine. The document of the artifact of Ergo All research. All right, start bringing them in. Roger, sir. At the man's signal, he trained subordination surrounded the... The trained subordination surrounded the Carrillo truck. They formed a line smoothly... Pass, passing box from man to man inside the building. The articles were of various sizes, which, e with even a few that came in oversized metallic containers for aero, aerial transportation. The Carrillo group had warned them not to handle these things carelessly until, explain, until explanations were forthcoming. But in truth, the department was already prepared to begin a foresec for investigation of the group of the objects and even said them to the Are lab. You sure it's okay for us to open these? The instructions said not to. 
It won't be a real investigation if we let them hamstring our procedures. Besides, I can't think of anything they could send us that we couldn't handle. Unless there's real monsters inside these things. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You just wait. The articles were brought in silence. The operation only lasted about 15 minutes. The man himself received the last item in the size of a jewelry box and checked the truck to make sure nothing went overlooked before closing it up. That done, he turned and walked quickly towards the for, um, Forsec room. Try though as he might, he maintained his uh, composure. He wouldn't contain the excitement he felt. For ten years, the darkness of the Corrigio group had been in, been a frustrating, frustrating legend, like mist between the department's fingers. Their chance to investigate and expose them was here at last. If even the slightest evidence matched the DNA of those who had gone missing or the victims of the unsolved case, victory would be in theirs. The man tried to tap down his acceleration and took another look at the small box he held. There was no upper lid on the box, a pedestal-like protrusion as at its center held a number of small circular trinkets. Their usage was completely unknown. What kind of research product was this? Just as that man was about to hand the box to the window clerk, he saw a wedding ring on the clerk's finger and came to the realization. Huh. Are these rings? Hmm? Uh, we're not sure yet. The man put on some protective gloves, latex gloves, and tried one of the objects on. Hmm. After looking at it, it is from every angle. Its color and shape seemed to be nothing but ordinary. If it was meant to be jewelry, it wasn't very attractive. The man couldn't picture scientists in lab coats slaving away in a lab creating rings like this. The moment that unlikely possibility came to mind, the man felt somewhat embarrassed by his ignorance of fashion and accessories. But as soon as he reached for the small box to put the ring back inside, darkness suddenly fell. Oh, Please we're step away from the door. <clears throat> so this is how it goes. Great. The voice echoing in the man's mind brought him back to reality. He took a few steps away from the door as directed and stood ready. Step away from the door, the more he thought about it, the stranger the order seemed. How did she know he was so close to the door when he when she wasn't even in the room? Suddenly a chill filled the area. In a mere seconds the entire door was coated in white. Where'd this ice come from? It had frosted over. The man couldn't believe his eyes, but the evidence was there in front of him. Ugh, sounds like cracking bones. He could then hear a slight knock sound, followed by a crack forming in the center. God. The door unbu uh, unbuckled under its own weight and crumbled with a sound that was like building blocks being pushed over. Standing just past it was Corrigio Woman. She walked over to the man with the exquisite nonchalant. Exquisite nonchalantness. At her side was one of the maids she Are brought. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. We did give you fair warning, but it seems to have gone unheeded. The man looked towards the ring shining on and his this finger. this because we touched that box? What is this thing? That ring gives its bearer an unstable form of pseudo-potential and allows anyone to experience the dark hour. Oh! Really? Dark hour? Oh, so... Uh, okay, that's interesting. The box itself seems to be a failed recreation of the Dark Hour. The effect radius is small, and it malfunctions when improperly handled. Wait, so this box emits the Dark Hour. The Dark Hour, he remembered that phrase coming up in documents the Corrigio group had sent. If he recalled correctly, it was defined as a hidden time unable to be experienced by normal people. A time where everything stood still. According to the documents, it seems seems to have occurred every night at midnight for about 10 years until spring of 2010. As if it was forcing its way into normal time. Before now, it seemed like a pure fantasy. But could this silent darkness be the very same so thing? So you're saying those stories in that document... That yep. occult-sounding stuff was actually for real? Yep. 
At that moment, a voice suddenly echoed from beyond the hallways past the broken yeah. door. Uh, who's there? Hey, who's there? The man who the man reflectively called out in alarm, realizing that the fear had not yet died down. What emerged from the darkness was a young recruit who had greeted the guests earlier, and he had been helping with bringing in the artifacts. He was staggering as if severely drunk. Chief! Hey, are you alright? And the man started to rush to his side. But the Karija woman silently stopped him. She stood between the two as if protecting what? the man. He's my... Before he could finish, a surprising change overtook the recruitment. The crewman fell to the ground with an agonizing scream. A black tar- Ugh. The ooze, ooze, oh, I love that guy. Ooze spread unnaturally across the ground and cohered into a glob. It rose up like a beast raising its hand and what looked like claws began to form. It appearance showed a clear sign that is possessed some malevolent will. The man thought again, again about the Carrizo Group's initial proposal. We wish to collaborate with the police on an unofficial department of eliminating mo monsters. Yeah, blah blah blah. Beat the thing up. That it is. It's a monster that dwells in every person's heart. They usually can't manifest themselves this way, but it's quite common to see it happen during the dark hour. So the research to make this happen artificially. That's what Kirijo has been experimenting with. That did seem to be the extent of it. At the start. The start. The man couldn't prevent prevent himself from sh shuddering. Imagining the implications of her statement. Should we deal with that? Kikuno, my things, please. The maid stood to reach something. The man wasn't sure what, where she was being carried, but it was a place, a sword in her master's hand. The blade was specifically shaped, similar in design to a fencing You're going saber. To fight it? Stay back. This will all be over soon. At that moment, as if understanding their conversation, the shadow squared itself and leaped towards the young woman. Its speed matched its beastly appearance. In the darkness of the room, the man found it difficult to simply keep his eyes on it. The young woman did not move. Her sword remained lowered in the face of the shadow's advance. Of course, thought the man. An amateur like her can never react in that time. Artemisia. However... So we're not going to get the fight. Oh my god. Yeah, basically the shadow got absolutely demolished. It looks like they've been enveloped by a sublime, sublime light contracting a shadow's dark glow. Was the woman wearing a majestic dress? The silhouette held up a hand towards the grounded shadow. Once again, the man felt a freezing air fill the room. And the shadow's huh. dead. Wow. A white gleam are... Um, Airst through the air. Upon impact, the frozen enemy shattered like it was being crystallized sugar rather than ice. The victory was no one sided. Was so one sided the man hesitated to call it a Are battle. Are you alright? Are you alright? The sound of boots hitting the floor gave him a jar realization that she hadn't moved a single step during that fray. Seeing that he was a loss of words, she gave him a gentle smile. It was all too much for the man. He actually felt relieved to be protected by a small woman. <laughs> really? One thing was obvious. She had been through a countless battle such as like the one we just Your witnessed. Your fallen employee's life is in no danger, but he'll be very weak. Make sure he gets to a hospital. No, I should at least handle that. It is a public security matter. Yeah, public security matter. How the hell are you gonna supposed to deal? Up. Oh! oh, the dark hour's gone. Uh, that's interesting. There was a stir in the movement in the room. The for uh, forensics team assistants looked at the man and young woman, perplexed. The man took a quick look around. Fragments of the shattered door were skewed around. 
the young security uh, public security workers was lying unconscious nearby, and their Carrillo guests, who had entered without any notice, held in her hand a drawn sword. I'd be shocked too if I were them. Yeah, of course it would. It occurred to him that if a normal per people could sense the dark hour, the sudden change in circumstances may have seemed to them like some Excuse magic truth. Excuse me, but this place is off limits to all unauthorized personnel. Um, hey, what's going on here? Ah, uh, nothing. Right. Don't worry about we it. Had a little emergency. But you guys just appeared uh, here. That aside, halt all examination of the relics they brought in. We'll wait for further instructions from the Kirijo group. Huh? But you said... If there are any boxes that are closed, don't force them open. Not if you don't want to come face to face with monsters. Yeah, yeah. After that sighting, yeah, of course I'd be scared. Leaving the fr uh, founding forensics team behind him, the man quickly went to the I hallway. To thank you for your help. <laughs> and about the conference, I'll join in as well. It's been arranged so nothing you say would get through to the higher-ups. If the young woman was surprised at the amount of... amounted to the confession of betrayal, she did not show... Are you saying show. you will reconsider your plans? I can't overlook anything as serious as this. I wouldn't be doing my job as public security if I did. But make no mistake, the things I saw today are proof of the sins the Kirijo group has committed. They can't be punished under the law. But now that they're known, atonement will be made in some shape or form. Indeed. I never intended anything less. <laughs> you really put one over on us this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no need to be coy. What happened today was no accident, was it? We'd never have believed the reports unless we saw it in person. That's why such a dangerous box had no lid. Am I wrong? There was no lid. That's not possible. That box was classified as risk level three. It should have been securely fastened. Young woman fell silent and gr gasped and gave the maid walking silently behind her a <sighs> look. Kikuno. The maid continued without a slight moment of wait, what? Us guys in public security have a reputation for being tough. But it seems like you guys are no slouches yourselves. I, so, basically they took the box, out. god damn it, this is why you don't touch anything that has to do with the Carrillo group, right? Because every time you touch something with the Carrillo group, you know what happens, you know what happens? Something bad happens! Yes, place a bookmark, please. God, we want to get to the fighting. Okay, quite a found name. Not that I normally pay much heed to these things, but the case is admitted to be pleased. It started as sarcasm as part of the higher ranking personnel for the police. It would have taken meaning those who dealt with... Uh... Oh, hey, Game Master. Seems like they still experience the dark hour. Yep. It's a bit, a bit of a problem. And those who... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Not only is this unit unofficial, we have difficult to credit job of exterminate. Okay. So the whole thing about this is... We've already seen all this. Fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. Man, have I missed this theme. I love this theme. All right. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. Okay, so this is right after the, the plane got stolen, I'm guessing. Good to hear from an old reliable friend. A limit to the call. I'll send you the precise location yeah, yeah. later. Sorry to call when you just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. I close my cell and turn towards he's my colleague. He's just returned and he's going directly to the location from the airport. Okay. Yep, Akihiko Sonata, the famous man. He's one of the non-permanent staff. Akihiko's an excellent Persona user, but beyond that, he's a skilled boxer. He's a friend of mine from high school who fought the shadows alongside me. I admire his strict determination to never neglect his training, but the extreme lengths he goes to can be rather inconvenient. 
okay, sure, I'll join. But if I'm going to use my strength professionally, I want to get my skills to a level I'm happy with. Thus began his training expedition. He's not only wandering the country, he's traveling the entire world. All this is to say that he's only returned to Japan to take part of this operation. I give a weary smile and lean back in my chair. See me relax, the girls watching near me nearby smile. This is Igus, known for her blonde hair and piercing blue eyes. She's a sweet girl on the outside, but... Will we be able to find Labrys? My sister? Nice suit took from a dachi, I see. Hmm. When I look over at Igus, her eyes are casted downwards with a worried Will expression. Will we be able to save her? Isn't that what you really want to ask? <laughs> yeah, we should be able to save her. Let's save her, please. She must have known once I called Akihiko in as a backup. There's a possibility that we'll have to fight Lapras, knowing that it's not a great leap to imagine that it's the worst case. She may have to... She may have to be destroyed. But alas, it's true. If all else fails and our safety is at risk with no other way to stop her, the option is on the table, still. Don't worry. As I mentioned to Akihiko, fighting Labrys is not our priority. The reason I formed this Shadow Operative team is to save lives. We will find her, whatever it takes, and bring her back. We can... Yes. I'm sorry to be so pessimistic. It's okay, Those I guess. feelings you have for Labrys... You should tell her when you see I'm not sure if you need to complete all the stories to complete it, but I would recommend to do Igus' story after this one. Okay. I will. The monitor is showing certain data under the multiple de redundant encryptions. Kurijo ergonomic. Uh, ergonomic, yeah, yeah, yeah. So th this is, there is, in fact, a reason why reviewing these materials that are normally secured, concealed. Because two days ago on May 1st, I was unexpectedly dragged into a serious incident. Okay, so basically, uh, the plane had this big box on it. Had this big old box on it that contained Lapras. And the thing about it, the plane was hijacked and somebody stole Lapras. Why? <laughs> Hell if I do. Why, why would you want a Lapras for yourself? Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind having my personal, I guess. Honestly, like, let's be honest here. Who, who wouldn't want a personal, I guess? So blah, blah, blah. That's the story. That way I don't have to fucking read all this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thank you. Back at the limousine. I love this song. Yo, what's up, Kenji? You wanna go hang out? Sure! We're pulling up to Yosa Inaba, the central town of Inaba. Though it's a central town, the main street seems nearly deserted, and there's no visual activity to be seen through the car windows. It was confirmed that the vehicle transporting Lapras was abandoned here, so our first move was to confirm the situation. Or so I thought. I attention ignored the rude stares of people trying to get a look inside the car for Force a guess instead of a scent of my tea. We've had moved into the murder of time already. We didn't get the moment of peace until the car had reached the junkyard on the outskirts of town. As I try to keep from sight, I guess speaks up from her seat in front of me. Mitsuru-san, our activities are supposed to be undercover, correct? Yes. Oh, hello, Zack. Welcome missions, back to me reading a goddamn book. To keep all personnel and vehicles from being noticed. Right. Mitsuru-san, may I say something that I've been meaning to say for a while now? No. Understood. What? I guess poker face is perfectly blank. Though I understand what she's getting at. I actually wanted to say something along the lines to the people around me for a while. Still, it'd be galing to hear it from someone else right now. I told them was to give us a car with enough space. Uh, um, our contact has arrived. The man approaching us is someone who corroborates I... 
I specifically requested. His name is Detective Kurosawa. Yep, I remember Kurosawa. Before I can welcome him, oh I guess my. because... This was not our designated meeting area, yet he has discovered us. Oh my god. I did it? Da -da. I never felt like that. <laughs> Lately, it feels that whenever Igis wants to voice her opinion to me, she intentionally puts on the robot act. They mentioned this at the lab, that if Igis is speak, speaks in that stiff, formal manner, either she's getting too human, or he's developing habits, or she's doing it on purpose. We appreciate your cooperation, Detective Kurosawa. Long time no see, miss. And Igis was it? Indeed. It has been a while. Detective Kurosawa was an officer at the police box near the school we attended three years ago. He was shunned for cooperating with us and got busted back down to officers. But now that the shadow operation is official, I recognize he's a good grace again. A man who can be trusted beyond the confines of the station to solve a case, even going so far as to bend the rules. He's a rare breed. Detective Kurosawa's expression has softened while he's making a small talk with Igis. Which makes me realize that this may be the first time he's seen Igis in her combat form. I shouldn't make you stand while we talk. Please, get in. Ah, oh, sorry. I haven't seen you in a while, so I had a lot to say. Damn, only three people watching. Yeah, no, Monday's a little rough. It's okay, though. We must understand that we're trying to go incognito. Though I'm kind of him not to point out that our vehicle and attire are completely unsuited to the goal he's entered the limousine. He sits and does not even... I found out quite a close. bit regarding the case you had me look into. First, I reviewed the report on the incidents from last year. One of the suspects mentioned the word persona. So what went on here last year? It's probably related, but I wasn't done there. Parts of this guy's test- Hello, me man. Outlandish. I guess. <laughs> if you can take what's in the record at face value, it seems persona users can enter TVs within the Inaba region. Oh, sick. Enter TVs? What does that mean? Just what it sounds like. You physically stick your body into the screen and go inside. He yep. claimed there was another world in the TV, and dropping people inside it was the method behind last year's murders. This all sounds rather absurd. I'm surprised it was included in the police report. I got in touch with a detective in charge at the time and said the same thing. Apparently the report was filed by a young partner of his at the time. He'd entertained the wildest testimonies like this one. He sounds like quite the oddball. If this was what really went on, the police would have had no chance cracking it. Why is Igis wearing a tie? Did Igis all always wear a tie? Nah, I think I'm... But that Detective Dojima is one shrewd guy. Even with all the supernatural hocus pocus surrounding the case, he caught the culprit. I'd ask him to collect information about the serial murder that occurred in Nineveh last year. The shadow oper operatives aren't public knowledge, so I thought the local police would be more than willing to speak with him, but the result has surpassed my expectations. Though the slight frustration, I already run up against something like powerless to achieve That's himself. all I have for you right now. I should be going. I doubt either of us has time to reminisce over the old days. <laughs> it's funny, though. I thought the fighting was over, but you guys surprise me every time I see you. Thank yep. you very much, Officer Kurosawa. Uh... Why don't we at least see you off? Oh, that's all right. I've got my own car. I doubt my department would appreciate your tastes. If I ever showed up for work in something like this, I'd be the talk of the force until the day I retired. <laughs> I guess got rid of her bow in favor of looking more... Uh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I guess... Suru-san, yeah, this at her. could be bad. Our sense of social aptitude is in question. Yeah, because I don't think Igis ages. Ugh, can't deny that. Um, what should we do now? Die. I... I heard Adachi there for a second. I heard... Can... Uh, I... I heard Adachi there for a second. Uh. First, we'll need to test the claim that Persona users can enter TVs. We're all at a junkyard, after all, and I see a number of consumer electronics that have been discarded illegally. 
Igus looks around and points at a certain pile as she gets out of the car. There is a discarded TV over there. If the environment does not matter, we can use it to test the phenomenon. Wait, I guess. Don't worry. I'm just going to touch it. And that's how you get pulled in. That's not what I was worried about. I guess isn't wearing anything like a disguise and... No, I'm overthinking this. We've already at attracted enough attention. Even if we leave now without doing anything, our pictures could still end up on the internet. Let them gossip about the strange... Adachi is in Arena Ultimax post-game story. Oh my god. Once I guess sees that I followed her, she... she she gives a small nod and stretches her hand out towards Amazing. the screen. Amazing! Her, her hand is inside the TV. Interesting. It's exactly as the police report said. What's it like inside? Do you feel anything? Not particularly. No. Wait a moment. It's the same as mine. It's hard to say definitively since this is my first encounter with it. But I believe this reading is from a personality module. Does that mean our retrieval target is inside the TV? Oh, bruh. Huh. Sounds like fun. Oh, the voice from above. It sounds very familiar. There he is. The, the, the He looks scary. But uh, all I see in the direction from where it came... Is a man in an outlandish red cape. I hesitate for a moment. Could is it be? Is that Akihiko? <laughs> the man leaves from a stacked tower of TVs like an acrobat. He didn't show up at the rendezvous point, so I went looking and found you here. <laughs> this whole TV thing is pretty interesting. In spite of myself, I bury my face Akihiko, in my palm. what on earth are you wearing? Just what were you doing overseas? Hmm? Didn't I tell you that I was on a training expedition? Don't tell me you came here from the airport like that. Does the concept of keeping a low profile mean nothing to you? Mitsuru-san. I mean... I believe we have lost the right to complain about that. Yeah, exactly. Look at us. We don't bear any low profileness at all. That's it. I never mentioned the subject of our appearance again. Anyway, we can go inside from that TV, right? What are we waiting for? Still the same Akihiko. We don't know the situation inside yet, and we'll need a secure means of getting out. So what? If we want to get this Labyrinth back, someone has to go inside, right? Well, yep. that's... Our target hijacked a plane to throw her into a TV in this town. If we sit on our hands, it's possible we'll be put in serious danger. Aki goes right. That explains why we tried to act as quickly as possible since we're this case began. We're how we used to be. We made the choice to fight shadows as professionals. That's why I travel. He's not wearing a shirt, nah. Harder than ever. And now that something's actually come up, you're hesitating. <laughs> yeah, why are you hesitating, huh? We agreed to do this. I'm ready to stake my life on the mission. Recklessly unafraid to state his honest opinion, classic Akihiko. He must understand that it, that it is his role. Certainly there are times when I need such opinions, and it would have been a while since we went abroad, aboard. Alright. Wait right here. I need to go make a phone call first. Oh okay. my god. Make it quick. Wait, who are you going to call? He doesn't have to tell me twice. I take out my phone and bring up the context. So it's a world inside the TV. I don't know what it might be like in there, but I do know someone that could help us. I was originally going to ask for his help about Lapras was scared, but perhaps the time has come. Now I've taken all possibility precautions. All right. The other members will wait here in the car. Yeah. Oh, if we all barge in and something happens, we'll be devastated. 
Now that you mention it, at least one of us should be staying behind as well. I am not staying. <gasps> Us three will be plenty. We'll end this in a flash. No problem. Yep, classic Aki <laughs> The same ego. as always. Although, huh? we have no idea what might be waiting for us on the other side. Don't get careless. Hopefully right. a guy, hopefully, I swear to God, if it's some guy with a bull cut, we're this screwed. This situation, it brings back memories. And in they go. I wonder who Abitsuru is going to fight first. It's either going to... I'm guessing it's got to be like Yukiko, Kanji, maybe Naoto. Why enter the TV? Oh! What's going on? Yeah, I remember. Now Alto's watching us still. Plays a book like this. And here we are. Where am I? Is this inside the TV? It is. I remember being enveloped in a white light, but what came came afterwards is unclear is this a world inside the tv oddly enough the site before me seems to be a main gate of a school the name in grade with the entrance plate Nasagami is Nasagami high school i do recall that name from our map of inaba an existing high school has been completely recreated inside the tv then i came to the realization i've encountered something much like this before it doesn't appear to be much different from reality as far as appearance but it was it was that same distinctive sticky atmosphere. The Labyrinth Tartarus, our battleground three years ago. It bears a lot of similarities to this Wait, place. Where are the others? Akihiko, I guess. Being separated won't do anything to further our mission. Perhaps I could use my communication power to get in touch with them. I can't reach them through my persona either. This place is highly unusual. It is. It's very unusual. It's a TV world. Now... And... But when I turn around, a uniformed girl stops, looks at me, bewildered. <gasps> oh! Um, uh, uh... Uh... Hmm. Y y Yukiko, I was not expecting you. I didn't expect to see someone else here, let alone a seemingly ordinary schoolgirl. Could her age and outfit be... Belie a connection with the theft of Lapras? It seems that in even another dimension people are startled by their attire. At least her reaction allays my suspicion. People who reveal something of themselves when they caught off guard. Anyone in the act of committing a crime wouldn't fake being perplexed Did so I surprise naturally. You? I suppose my outfit is somewhat unusual. Oh, no. Why are you here? Um, well, I... Oh, brother, here we go! A loud cheer suddenly swells, cutting off our conversation. What? Where is that coming from? It's very laggy. It's laggy. Hang on, give me one second. Let me see if I could, uh... Let me see if, let's see. Let me see if it's me. Huh? What's going on? Hello! Hello! This is General Teddy, your benevolent dictator! He won Grand Prix. Fight. What? Why is it doing that? Why is it lagging like that? 
Is it this thing? Is this thing overheating? Stop overheating! Stop! Might be my capture card. My capture card's kind of shit. Same thing happened, ended up very laggy. Wait, really? I'm trying to figure out what it is. Hang on. Maybe I can figure Just give me a second. Okay, I don't know what it is. I think it might be my capture card fucking up because I don't think my voice is being stupid. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Give me. I keep playing. Teddy, what's wrong? Hmm. Do you know that bear? Suddenly fuzzy over the static. The static gets worse and worse until an eerie expression. The voice is the same as before, but the tone is harsher and mechanical. Case zero four. Unintended intruder. Entering elimination process. Oh, that's a problem. What is that supposed to mean? Ugh. What's going on? As soon as the end. Uh, wait, what? Some kind of attack in effect with the scale standing. Pew. Pew. Who do you think you are showing up alone like this? As I said, every few seconds. What? Hang on, I'm gonna go silent for a couple seconds. I gotta figure this out. Let me see. But I need like gameplay. It's no use trying to talk your way out of it. There's nothing to discuss. You don't even try to understand anyone anyway. If you want to well yourself off from everyone, I'll be happy to end your lonely life here. A persona? What the hell? Why is it doing that? Is the music lagging? Does the music lag? That's my question. Or is it just a video? Because if it's a music lagging, then we might have a problem. Be on the barrier of my body. Oh yeah, you can sever your thing without. Persona user. Fine. I still won't lose. No, the entire stream just lags. What? Sorry, but I won't be defeated. Is my capture card bugging out? Stop bugging out. Stop it. You're plugged in all the way. You're you're kind of hot, but you're not. Stop. Stop bugging. Okay. I gave it a pep top. It should be fine. I don't think your capture card likes spin-off games, it might not. Finally. Anyway, I gotta fight this. Alright, let's see how Mitsuru plays. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my god. Niflheim? Oh yeah, you know Niflheim. Oh, you guard it, you... No, I am not losing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Lost it. What's strange for me is it's not even showing me the lag. I'm wa I'm looking at it right now. Hang on. Wait. Okay, now I have a, I have a thing I can actually watch it. Let me let me double check. Once the battle ended, the monitor turned switch on. An irregularity has occurred. Oh my God, it is lagging. Intruders detected. Emergency. Is YouTube being stupid? Intruders are persona users. Due to difficulties in elimination, they will be acknowledged as valid target. What is YouTube doing? Valid targets. Valid targets. So is uh, Lapras being stupid? Take off that strange costume and show your face. Hey now, I don't think a lady walking around in a cat suit like yours can talk to me about my bear suit. <laughs> with a question. Move on. <sighs> you know the person hung up on my outfit. Oh, it's unlike let the enemies under my skin. Is that costume thing the one who stole Labrus? If so, then what's the purpose of this bizarre tournament? Fine. Oh my god, it is like... I'll get a read on your oh, How do I fix this? Why does it get worse? How do I deal with this? Is it my internet? Let me see if it's my internet. No, I'm not pinned at all. Let me look at my internet. It's using only 1% of my internet. What, what, what? Yeah, to 10 megabytes a second. 13, 11, 60. Yeah, I mean, it's not even, it's not even using much of the internet. Oh God, ah! <laughs> Uh, we're fine. What? Wait a minute. Adachi, are you missing with the router? He's up here with me, so it's gotta be someone else. What? Were they shadows? 
If they were, I don't sense any hostility from them. The Can entire stream is laggy. The Why? Is Why is it laggy? I don't know what it is. It looks perfectly fine for me, and then it looks shit whenever it's on YouTube. Oh my god. In any case, it appears that apart from this girl here, none of those students were real. Can somebody go over on Twitch and check? <sighs> somebody go over on Twitch. Is Twitch lagging or is it a YouTube thing? Because it could very well be a YouTube thing and honestly I wouldn't... I would be like, yep, that just happens. Did my settings get bugged? Hang on. Hello, Yukiko. How you doing? Twitch seems fine. So, so it's YouTube being stupid. Is, what's my graphics card doing? My graphics card seems fine. How come you knew about that? About what? That was private. I never even told anyone at the inn about that. I can't believe someone I've never even met before knew. Wait, what? Oh, God. What do they know? Oh, my God. Why is this? Why is YouTube being stupid? Well, when in doubt, just try this. Nope, I can't do that. Damn. Really, YouTube? That Don't be stupid on me. me. Gone. It seems to have been some kind of interference from the enemy. Come to think of it. That bear was egging us on. The interference must have been to ensure two total strangers with General Teddy, was it? He looked comical enough, but he certainly put an elaborate scheme in motion. No! How could Teddy... Video encoding. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. I think I figured it out. I'll fix it later. Why? Why is it using my integrated graphics? You know the one in costume, I take You know it? what? Whatever. Oh, I know him very well. He's usually not like this at all. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. I've come here in search of a unique object. Why don't we start over? If you don't mind, I'd like to hear a little about yourself. Yes. Oh, my name's Yukiko Amagi. I'm sorry for losing my composure just now. So, Amagi, why did you come to this world? Hmm, where to start? So many strange things happened over the last year. First glance, she looked like an ordinary student, so why is she here? God, this is stupid. Whatever. I guess YouTube's just being super stupid right now. A All right, fine. Inside a TV, formed by people's thoughts. It sounds absurd, but that would explain the incongruity I sensed when I used my persona. We thought the case had been solved, but lately there's been another strange program. My friends and I couldn't ignore that, so we came back here. Your friends? 
Are there others here besides yourself? Yes, I was with three other people, but we got separated when we entered. The one in costume and the girl who called herself Rosette are friends of ours, too. But they're acting so strangely. So this is not the way they generally behave, then? You can tell by Magi's reaction that it's normal to trust those two implicitly. Under, Considering that the enemy did did here earlier, could they be under control? You know what? I got an idea. Let's go here. There's one more thing I'm curious about. Have you ever heard the name Labrys? Have you ever heard the name of the Labrys? Labrys? No, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. What is it? It's the thing I'm searching for. What makes it problematic is that I know nothing of its appearance. Honestly, I'm not sure it has anything to do with this disturbance. You sure? Though I can't write it off completely as irrelevant. Though the Peter connection, whoever went so far to hijack a plane to steal Lapras was brought all the way here. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. I understand the situation better now. We should stay together going forward. Yeah, we should until. Whoa! Think again, ladies. Only the winner of each bout can go on. Okay, I'm getting very confused. I know I'm being kind of silent, but I'm trying to figure out why... Hang on. Oh my god, I, why haven't I did that? Okay, I figured out what the problem was. So the thing about it is I don't know why, but I have a I got I have two you know like I have integrated graphics on my uh on my like i7 whatever you call it like you know i7 integrated graphics that's on the CPU right and then I have my graphics card right and for some There's reason Streamlabs the thing I stream with is saying you know what I feel like using my the integrated graphics today. Yeah, that's a good idea. Really? God damn it. I'm gonna have to disable that later. Like I said, you're stuck okay, there until the tournament's later. over. Only winners get to Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Wait. I guess you're just hanging on. So I assume that's causing all the lag? I'm guessing so. Because integrated graphics is not good. So, um, for this stream, I'll, I'll fix it next time, hopefully. I guess, uh, among the scenes, whatever. Be all right. I got shadows for an entire year, too. I can protect myself. I see. In that case, I'll press on and do my best. If you see them, please tell them I'm all right and they shouldn't worry about me. You be careful, too, you two. Yep. All right. Uh, listen, Amagi's got this. Let's just hope that Not only do they tamper with our minds, they hope prevent that us from leaving until the tournament time. is settled. Yeah. It may not necessarily ruin friendships, but there's no way forward than to fight one another. A loathsome trick. It seems the mastermind is intent on us fighting each other. Or anyway, I should probably get back to the, the problem at hand, which is this doohickey mabob. Hmm. 
another dead end. As I step into the school, I realize there are invisible walls. Oh my god, and more invisible damn walls. Every single person has gotten invisible walls. I focus my unconsciousness and drift throughout the surrounding Hurts. area. So lonely. Hmm. What was that? That was Lapras, wasn't it? The presence is faint, but I can tell where it is, and yet I definitely hear a voice. It seems I could sense it, it because my secondary support capabilities. But when I focus harder, it doesn't seem that they're trying to communicate with me. It's more like the words and the intense emotion behind them seep out of the room itself. I'm scared and alone. I'm scared and alone. It hurts. It hurts. Why? I don't recognize the voice. Perhaps one of Amagi's friends. I didn't ask to be born a machine. How come no one understands? What's the difference between normal people's hearts and mine? Uh, yours is made of a weird ass metal, and mine is made of a beating ass heart. A I don't machine. know. Is that Labrys? I stand up and try to call Labrys, her. Are you nearby? Answer me. But there's no answer. It seems that not because of the voice of owner is nearby that I can hear her. It is subtle and different from hearing a voice with one's own ear, it's true. I focus my senses once again, but I still can't tell exactly where it's coming from. Not yet, not yet having a thought command of the layout here, I made a hard point to pinpoint eventually. Going by okay, what cool. she said, that had to have been Labrys. Sounds as if her heart has developed further than we thought. Hopefully things get clear up because we're not even halfway done with this game. Yeah. I didn't ask to be born a machine. It pains me to hear that. The anti-shadow suppression weapon. Both Igus and Lapras. Is it supposed to be British or is it a really bad New York accent? It sounds like a New York accent. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like somebody's really trying. The only thing that can stand up against the shadow is a persona. And a sh being able to control one is an absolute necessity when dealing with the shadow. Thus, they have been given a heart in order to induce their abilities to use personas. But a weapon that has a heart contradicts itself. It was a nature for Igus to face the contradiction, and it's caused her serious anguish We in the past. can't allow victims like her to be tormented by sins of the past, whether they're human or not. I continue through the school hall, still unable to contact Igus or Ikehu. And here we are at the gym! Invisible walls seem to be leading me towards the gym. Okay, compared to the one in Gekukon, this one is rather modest, but the chair is stacked to an unusual height and the monitors everywhere to give me that. Up, oh, here comes Teddy. What is Teddy gonna say? What in the. Of young men and women are introduced as participants. One of them is recognized as Amagi. They're wearing the same uniforms as Amagi. I assume these are the friends she spoke of. All of them are introduced with horrible... Oh. Yeah, so she just watched the video of um, all of them getting introduced I as like... I completely rejigger the bracket to accommodate three new contestants. Jeez. Three new contestants. Myself, Akihiko, and Igus? On the other paw, a tournament's more exciting with more people in it. I guess so. I'm getting back on track. Allow me to introduce your next... When I entered, someone who had already been there turned around. His face, it was the video on the moment ago. Ah! People besides us here? Hey, Yosuke. Holy crap, she's smoking hot. I think she's wearing doesn't hurt either. You were in that video just now. What was it they called you? Captain Le Sentiment? How, how come you remember that stupid title and not my real name? I think there's something to knock out like this and she already knows about that. I wish I was dead. Apparently, the emphatic from the video hit a sore point with the people featured. The nicknames left more of an impression than their real names, so it's just slipped out. At that moment, General Terry appeared again in one of the larger monitors inside the gym. <laughs> How do you like your opponent? Why are you making us fight? What benefit do you derive from this nonsense? So many questions. I just want 
want you all to suffer. Isn't that exciting? That's what this is about? No. If Labrys is involved, there's more to it, isn't there? Enough jibba-jabba! Hurry and start the fight! Look at your opponent! He's ready, see? He is? And now, what is he gonna say? Yeah, Teddy's right. I mean, you're the one who barged in here. <laughs> Man, who come to such a dangerous place without hesitating? You really are an ice queen. I bet you don't have many friends, huh? What? It's happening again. The moment the noise kicks in, not only do the opponent personality change, they begin speaking things that they shouldn't know about. It's exactly what happened you to Mikey. You talk as if you know me. Stop acting so calm and changing the subject. You seem like you don't know much about this world. So how do you plan to get out? Don't tell me you rushed in here with no escape plan. Oh, man, seriously? <laughs> You're nuts. People like you who obsess over responsibility and put all the burden on yourselves, you annoy the hell out of me. It doesn't matter how others perceive me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Isn't that because you don't trust anyone? <laughs> don't let it get to you, Mitsuru. It's not worth it. We really can't have a normal conversation with the enemy interference. All right, time to fight. The more I care about someone, the less I'm willing to rely on them. This isn't the no better than believing in them. I've been caught in this trap before. Maybe I still haven't truly escaped it. But how come he guessed at my private dis distress? Ah, oh, one that they're barely confined to. Others supposedly before. an unexpected intruder. What's going on? What are you mumbling about? Well, let me ease your mind. I'll end everything for you. Let's do this, Jiraiya. All right, okay. I can see there'll be no talking sense with him like this. There's nothing for it then. Artemisia. All right, this should be pretty easy. Marin Carmen. Can I hit this? Ah, damn. That was pretty easy, not gonna lie. on the PA system is rather casual with her insults. Soon after, General Teddy appears on the monitor. So strong, miss. I can barely believe how gorgeous and powerful you are. It seems they're not provoking us only to have us fight one another. And their method. Is it more like an illusion they're casting over us rather than some sort of mind control? Hang on, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still trying to figure everything out? Switch your brain off and enjoy the grand. Already. Sorry, but I'm not some savage who enjoys the suffering of others. And don't call me Miss. My name is Mitsuru Kirija. Kirija? You've toyed with us, 
and I don't take Oh god, back. Teddy turned I'll make you pay for gold. You, you better be prepared for that. Here we go. The one who should be prepared. I'll never let you stop me. The and ends. I mentioned my name on purpose. He reacted as strongly to the name Kirijo as I thought he would. Yep, he's definitely first, Lapras. I thought I'd stumbled into an irrelevant side incident, but evidently not. We were meant to come here. Just then the young man behind me slowly gets to his feet. Ah, you're awake. It seems now that the battle is settled, the interference causing us both to seem odd had vanished. Harmura clings away, cr cringes away, frightened. Can't help but shrug. Oh my, Amagi reacted the same way. Were the things that the illusory me said that harsh? Oh, oh you bet. Wait, what? Illusory? Yeah. Did you just say Amagi? You meant Yukiko? Yes, before I came here. I was forced to fight her, quite against my will. Explain the situation to him. Also add that she's shared information about last year's case. Case that should help prove that that I did encounter Amagi. Just on the off chance, I asked Harmura about Lapras, but he seemed to not even know the name. Only the winner can move on, huh? I'm glad you understand. I was worried you'd doubt me since I'm a complete stranger. Well, you didn't seem like someone who'd try and trick me. I mean, what's the point? I've lost now, so I can't go anywhere. Indeed. You're very pragmatic. Young Min waves away my nah, compliment. After what I went through last year, I just got used to coming smack up against insane stuff in this world. And Yukiko, <laughs> my friend you met, she believed in you. So I don't mind trusting you too. I see. I can't help myself for smi from smiling. Their bonds seem to be real. I do somewhat envy the way they trust each other without a doubt. I'd like your opinion on something. What do you think is the objective of this tournament? That General Teddy said it was all in fun, but I doubt it's anything so simple. I've been wondering the same thing, but I don't know. But you know, it might not just be Teddy behind it. I met this weird girl earlier. A weird girl? Weird girl. She was about my age, and she said she was the student council president. It was like she had no idea that she was inside the TV world. It doesn't seem very likely, does it? No, I doubt one could be unaware of such things. Hmm. It's possible that she didn't come here of her own will. This may be a school now, but it doesn't always look like this. When normal people who don't have personas come in here, the world changes to reflect what they're thinking of. It happened every time a victim was dumped into a TV last year. This time she's the victim. Even if she means well, she still could have a lot to do with the tournament. Girl. Judging from the state of the affairs, I could begin to think that this girl in question is Lapras, since our rumor doesn't know the details of the mission. What did this girl look like? Did anything about her stand out? Huh? No, not really. She wore the same uniform as the rest of us. A uniform? Considering how Igus looks, it's possible that Lapras' appearance is quite close to a human. But what does it mean by she's completely able to pass as a human, when I guess has to wear clothes that cover her entire body in order for her to walk around the town? Yet Labyrinth even wears the same uniform as them. Chalk it up to another unsolved mystery, I suppose. But after all the talk with Harumura, it feels like I'm starting to understand I the bigger see. picture here. Thank you. I'm getting a clearer picture of what's going on. I'm sorry, but I can't stay in chat. I should be leaving now. Oh, uh, wait a sec. Um... Can I ask you a favor? Hmm. Can you look after my other friends too? It sucks, but I can't get to them from here. That Teddy's really not a bad guy either. Sure, he eats my ice cream without asking and stuff. He's not the type of guy who'd get off on watching people hurt each other. There's gotta be some other explanation. Don't worry. I was already thinking along similar lines. What we saw was an illusion. It may be that they're faced with the same situation. I'll save everyone who's been dragged into this, including your friends and their- Thanks. Just hurry before someone else dies in here. Yep, uh, previous being for light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, 
God, after you play through this multiple times, you begin to realize, yep, it's all repeating the same thing. To fight desperately but lack the power to make a difference. <laughs> yep. That must sound pretty lame, losing the fight and then making a lot of demands. Not so. Your concern for your friends in a situation like this. C'est magnifique. Man, what? I sensed it when speaking to Amagi, too. But you all seem to have very strong wills. <laughs> it says Amagi, what? I promise to do what I can to help. The emotions have seemed to be viewed as a weakness. We are actually a strength. I'm sure that's a little more experience. You'll come to realize that, too. You'll see how difficult it is to hold on to that will and how valuable a friend is to share with it. Yep. What a good man. Well, it comes to sense now that the time, but it's like how Yosuke doesn't talk about Lapras in a weird way to him. She's just normal. Remember how she talked about Risei and first met her? This character growth, yeah. This game does do a good job with character growth. Is there no end to this? The rules of the P1 Grimpy are powerful and forced. I tried to see it could destroy one of these walls, but it doesn't come as they th though I can. Maybe a way I seem worth of the trouble. I stray from the suggestions brought on purpose and open one of the classroom doors. Am I gonna fight somebody in here? I sense no enemies. But it come looking like that I'll run into an next moment here either way. It should be safe. Once again, I link my communication communicator to my persona. This time, unlike before, I sense cleanly and smoothly sp spread outwards. I sense one, no, two familiar signals. And I guess they both seem to be okay. First, I focus my senses on contacting I guess, who's closer by. Can you hear by. me, I guess? Mitsuru-san, I am relieved to finally hear from you. Is Akihiko-san with you? No. No, we were separated, but I've confirmed his safety. I'm sure he won't be defeated that easily. GB97, Persona 3 Portable, P4 Gordon, or PS5 Remastered? On PS4 remastered. Let's exchange information while we can. I don't like the fact that P P3 portable is on a big screen makes no sense to me. I don't really like that, but that's just me. I I find P4 golden though to be good. My suspicions that the Grand P Mastermind is certainly. I saw that girl a moment ago, though I lost sight of her when the invisible walls blocked my path. I've been told she looks more human than you. Is that possible? Not only that. She was almost indistinguishable from a normal person. Yet I definitely sense the personality module. I don't believe there's any mistake that she is Labrys. Are you hyped for Persona 5X? Nope. I shouldn't say it like that, though. No. I don't know, man. I'm not... Uh, yay, Persona 5X. Mobile game, gotcha game. Chinese game. I mean... Yay. I'll probably play it a couple times, but I ain't gonna Don't like play it all the now. time. Under the present conditions, we'd only end up fighting amongst ourselves. Understood. I don't know how Labrys ties into this situation yet, but be careful. Hello? <sighs> I lost her. Damn, I guess voice trails off as my connection to her dies out again. I wonder if the enemy notices our conversation. I took presentative measures, though the voice I'm hearing now definitely isn't Aiden, doing it. Some other way. If there was, then... That's the same voice from before. Labrys, is that you? It's happening again. The voice reaches me through my persona's ability, but I have the strangest sensation about it. I get the impression that the voice is seeping out of the place Why itself. Are you laughing? Who is she addressing? I don't want to fight him anymore! That reminds me. Hanamura said that the environments here are formed by the thoughts of those who enter this world. Could these be Labrys' innermost thoughts? What do you think we are? <sighs> For a moment I experienced not just a voice, but a powerful wave of emotion. They bombard me through my persona senses. A strong sadness. Yeah, and this song really fucking reflects it. Can't help but fall to my knees, though nothing is assaulting me directly. How could I describe this weight? 
One possible explanation crosses my She's mind. She's not addressing anyone. These are her memories. I see. So that's what's going on. Yeah, not really excited for P5X. Probably end up as lost media and just like all the other mobile and browser based Persona games. Exactly. That's why I'm not super hyped for it. I honestly wish they made a Persona 1 and 2 remake. I would take that any day of the week other than P5X. But it's Atlas. What can you do? I'm playing P3 right now and hearing the song. It puts me in fight or flight. I know. I heard the saga and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. To see the relationship between this tournament and Labrys. Yep. In any case, I must proceed to learn anything. I re double my resolve and begin walking again. The modern only suddenly turns on showing a smirky general teddy. So sentimental for. The Grand Prix's not over yet. Then you intend to continue this meaningless farce. As soon as General shouts smoke and all right, well, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Narukami? Looks like it's you. Uh, uh. What is she gonna say about her body? Wait, I remember that face. Naoto Shiragami. She was present as a police observer with Labrys and being transported to uh, Yakushima. It was thanks to her quick thinking that we discovered Lapras has been taken to Inaba. If our trip doesn't wait for a problem. I didn't think we'd run into each other so soon. What is she gonna say? <laughs> I'll answer that question later. It would be best to say as little as possible for now. With that, the young man lifts a finger of the lips and gestures and remains silent. Directly afterwards, the staticky sensation runs through my body, and that's when I understand what he meant. Once again, the noise will prevent us from understanding each other properly. He probably also noticed effect at work. Nothing we say right now could be called conversing. We both understand that neither of us needs to take what the other says personally. It's amazing assets, assentment giving the brief time we had before making it. Before long, as expected, the young man... For me, undergoes a completely attitude Seriously, change. Seriously, such impatience handling the brunt work yourself like this. Isn't micromanaging like this the style of an incompetent leader? One who can't see the bigger picture? <sighs> this isn't how he truly feels. I say the nothing. silent treatment, huh? That's fine. I understand perfectly. You don't believe in people. Not a single one. Uh. You have friends and allies, but believing in them is a different thing. I suspect you'll never break down that wall. Shall I say it for you? You're actually scared to. The notion of growing attached to something and losing it scares you so much that you'll share nothing truly important to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Even if you want to believe in your friends, you can't. That's not true. After the words split from those, I believe that argument of is futile. Of course it is. Why not simply admit it? In truth, you have your hands full just expiating your family's sins. You don't need the added burden of others placing their lives in your hands. Isn't that how you really feel? No! The young man smirks as if we're giving my ability to stop myself from responding to alleged allegations despite knowing the futile of doing so. But the smirk also helps me regain my composure. The real Shiragami would never make that face. This is only There's illusion. No this. Not until I eliminate this irritating mirage. All right, time to fight. It'll be easy. Come 
Come on, Knuckles. Easy. Well, that was easy. Next. I turned towards the monitor on the assumption that Te General Teddy was appearing to mock us. But for some reason, this time he doesn't. I'm not sure why, but at least but at least allows us time to calmly talk to each other. I look for towards the young man Am once I again. Am I getting through to you now? Yes. The same goes for me, I presume. It seems we were spellbound until the fight began, as we both suspected. Mm -hmm. They disrupted our communications to drive a wedge between us and make us fight. Though yep. it's a mystery to me as to where it draws such personal slights for the illusions before us. I agree. He seems to bear no um, ominous ominousities, and they were willing to discuss things. But to be honest, I'm not sure where we stand. Why is he here? I can't think of I can think of several possible explanations, but he secretly follows us. In the his canniness may prove, prove, prove dangerous. He gives a sudden weary smile, as if sensing my reluctance in trying to assert a sujet. There's no need to be cagey. I don't intend to dodge whatever God, my brain questions stop, you have. Stop working because I'm like, why is you two being stupid? You Lord, were probably Lord. wondering three things when you saw me here. First, how did I enter this world? Second, what am I doing in Inaba? And third, if I came here looking for you, what are my true intentions? No wonder you've made a name for yourself as a detective. You're correct on all counts. The first answer is easy. You know now that I can use a persona, allowing me access to the TV world. As for the second, there's no great mystery why I would come to Inaba. I live here. You wouldn't happen to be acquainted with Amagi and Hanamura. You've met my senpai? Your <laughs> friends. I gather that your comrades who fought alongside each other during the serial murder case last year. I assume you entered the TV together for the same reason they did, and found yourself dragged into this mess as well. Whatever doubts I may have about them, it seems they're here because we dragged them into this. I'm not very comfortable with this. So, I must apologize to you. No doubt you already know, but the object we seek has been brought to this world. It's most likely the cause of this disturbance. Whoever learned of this world's existence must have thought it would be useful in whatever their scheme. You apologizing to me? Shogani shrugs with a weary Are smile. You so sure you can trust me? You have no guarantee that I'm telling the truth. And there's still the answer to your third question to consider. I haven't yet told you my true motives. Fair enough. But if you're friends with Amagi and Hanamura, I feel I can trust you. Their Thank bonds you. with their friends are real. Perhaps I lied about that too. <laughs> but then why would you bring it up? No, you're no villain. That's what my intuition tells me. You sure? You aren't at all the person I thought you'd be. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> his, his smile suggests that it was meant as one. It makes him look look his age, or even younger. I can't help but smile as well. He's not exactly the hardened detective I'd imagine him the to be either. The who appeared on that monitor is not our friend. He's an imposter. You have proof an of this? An imposter among us. I found the real Teddy. Our enemy can fog both our eyes and ears. It's possible they can make themselves look like someone else. Mm-hmm. I see. But I still don't know why they chose to take on Teddy's appearance. Yeah, nobody knows. Upon hearing this, I sigh and close it my eyes. It might be to make you all suffer. If they led you to believe your friend betrayed you, it would make this all the more painful. I... I never want to hear the word imposter or among us ever again. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I hear imposter, I just... He's wrong. If the motives is somehow connected to Lapras' memories, what would have been incomprehensible become completely understandable? My conclusion must have shown through my face and Shiragami's trains. Trails off in understanding. At that moment, the same came something like a touch. It's a sensation I hadn't felt ever since entering this world. I know this feeling. Effects of being brushed by a persona information's power. This feeling. Support power. Risei san! Risei san, can you hear me? 
So you ended up here too. Oh, hello, Reese. How are you doing? I hope you're doing so good. Glad. Ever since this weird big teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other too. It's all right. Just calm down and tell me where you are. Yeah, just calm down. I think it's the announcement room. It's kind of off though. There are these invisible walls around and I can't get out. The fake Teddy was watching me until a moment ago, so I couldn't use my persona. She seems to have been under the general, been, been under the general's close watch, limiting her chance of using her persona until now. As soon as the general steps out for a moment, she seizes the opportunity to contact Shiragami. You're in the announcement room now, yes? I'm headed straight there, so stay put. Huh? Wh who's that? Why can I hear your voice but not sense you? She sounds extremely confused. I had temporarily forgotten that my equipment prevents me from being detected by persona abilities to an extent. I'm prepared. I prepared it after facing an enemy with similar power once before. It worked by making my presence difficult to detect, unless they know me well and recognize my signature. Shirogame sensed her confusion as well and introduced me to her. His introduction was accurate yet concise. Concise. I can see it. He's a first-rated detective. Mitsuru Kirijo. Wait, Kirijo? Are you that Kirijo? Yes, that's correct. The CEO? Not quite. I am the founding family's... You hired me for a commercial before. Oh, good. Um, thank you very much for your patronage. A commercial? Oh, yes. Um, I'm Rise Kuchikawa. I'm a classmate of the others you met. But I'm also kind of a starlet and... Um, it's hard to explain. I doubt. We say, son, that I, can wait. There's uh, no knowing when our adversary will return. I doubt uh, Mitsuru has any thought into oh. that. <laughs> All right. Kujikawa said that she was captured, but why would they treat her differently? I suspect it was to block communication. If we could speak freely as we just did, their whole scheme would collapse. Ah, so that's why Teddy and Rise-san were the hosts. What do you mean? The real Teddy has a similar power. That's why those two were taken separately. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but by acting as the two who had disappeared, the enemy thought it could portray them as traitors. Yeah, it could portray them as traitors. Though it appears that Teddy managed to escape on his own somehow. How come I'm the only one fake Teddy is watching over personally? Sheesh. Man, I have no clue. You have the most powerful investigative persona. They must have had to take greater pains with you. I think we're keeping this going too long. We've exchanged what we know already. Careful, you guys. We are responsible for this case. Rescuing the ones who've been dragged into it is part of our mission. Besides, she's another of your friends, isn't she? All the more reason for me to go save her. Makes a small gesture of his searching for the right words. After taking some time to make up his mind, he looks at me in the eyes You're once quite more. quite prepared for this. It would be unfair of me not to tell you everything. Please hear me out. The reason I came here was to... <laughs> You're a real straight arrow. I cut him off You're intentionally. You're very proud to be a detective, no? I can see it in your eyes. If you've done nothing to be ashamed of, that makes us even. I haven't been entirely forthright with you. Kirijos, <laughs> it seems I still have much to learn. Despite what I said, I make an educated guess as to his motives. He's a persona user, that means the police selected his there for as someone with the potential. If the only task was to watch over the transfer, there would be no need to send a persona user. Lending me to believe that asking to be a secretly spy on me or an organization. But we have nothing to hide anymore. There are many things that shouldn't be a, be public well then i will once again entrust my friend's safety and the resolution of this case to you in honor of the bond we are forming mitsuru kirijo i promise that i will not let you down i smile back at him and move on without looking back there's no hesitation in my step And here we are at the hallway. I reach the third floor. After turning a corner, I'm going for on for a while. I finally come into view. The announcement room. This is where Kuchikawa was supposed to be. Uh, are you Kiri 
Mijo-san? Hello, I'm here. Hi. Mijo? Oh, hello, Lapras. As I open the door, two students greet me. One of them is the voice I heard through my persona. Kujikawa, I presume. The other girl I didn't see in the Hang video. Hang tight, Miss President. We'll be okay now that help's arrived. Kirijo-san, this girl got dragged into this mess, too. We have to help her before that general comes back. <gasps> so you're Kujikawa. Sorry, but I'll need you to step back. Huh? I turned to face Miss President. Last. Astounding. You really do look human, but you're not, are you? Labrys. Huh? The girl jumps in hearing this. Kujikawa still looks unsure, but I can't drag her into this. I place myself between her and Lapras. Huh? What do you mean she's not human? Isn't she a victim who got dropped inside the TV? Lapras being a victim is one way to see it. But if... But if it would... But if what I've learned thus far is accurate, then one of... The one who's set us this Grand Prix is most Lapras. likely... Our records show that you were loaded with special equipment. Undoubtedly a function that affects thoughts and scrambles recognition. That's why we saw and heard illusions whenever we fought. It would also explain General Teddy's appearance. And those who met you believing you to be human. Special equipment? Labrys? W what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm sure the reason uh -huh. I captured two people with analytical personas wasn't just to keep them from interfering with your designs. I came to a realization when I noticed I was the only one who sensed that noise. An analytical persona's searches clash with your ability. They dispel illusions, so you needed to confine them. You feared that if they caught you off guard and used their persona's ability, this would happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I just go with that I summon my persona. Just as expected, noise immediately runs across Lapras' body. Exact the sensation I felt before reaching the round in the tournament. Yep, so basically she's turning no. into Lapras. What's going on? This can't be She a robot what was, your motive, was it revenge in the end? I I can understand why you'd hold a grudge. I caught glimpses of it on my way here. But your hatred should be centered on the Kirijo group. Why drag innocent students into your vendetta? That is a Kirijo. fair point. Group? No. I don't want to remember. Never again. Uh-huh. Miss President, Kirijo son, she seems to be in a lot of pain. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but you can't push her any further. At that moment, Labrys has grabbed the equipment on her back that I had mistaken for wings. It suddenly separates and transforms into a giant battle axe that's larger than Ms. she is. President? Get back. Labrys approaches one step at a time, her axe at the ready. Her steps seem uncertain, but she moves with the battle clearly the in mind. against harming humans has been removed? I see. No wonder she was sealed away. Begin. Behind me, I hear Kujiwata bleeding. Is there no other choice but to fight? Oh, are we I fighting her? I won't let you do any more damage, Labrys. It's me you want. Shut up! Shut up! I... I didn't like that! Oh my god, are we fighting Lapras? Oh my god, we're fighting Lapras! Oh shit! Everybody get... Oh uh, god. Hit it. Ah. Uh, what? Damn, she's tough. All right, rematch. Come on.
Done. Not bad. I was just so surprised I got that fighter. I think that was the first time we ever fought. I, I, oh no! Not the sad music. Lapras remains still, and I can hear her muttered den denial. She didn't use a persona, but it's possible that she, that her mental instability prevents her from doing it. So, I might have been a blessing in disguise. I don't intend to turn a blind eye to the sins committed against you. That is why I must bring you back. That's why I must bring you back. Labrys is the mastermind. Not only is this tournament, but maybe of this entire incident. What if Labrys wasn't stolen, but instead escaped? Considering her power, it's possible that she deluded the, the ordinary human hijacking. There's nothing but... When Labrys regains her consciousness inside her cage, what if she had an awaken on opening? What if she was already conscious inside there? And she'd be sealed for roughly 13 years, more than enough time to formulate a plan. If that was indeed the case, it'd make more sense for this to be a plan devised by Labrys, rather than an unknown party suddenly stealing her away. I can't imagine how much resentment such a small, artificial body could hold. A tragic mastermind, huh? Huh? Mastermind? You got it wrong, Kirijo-san! That girl's not- Kirijo-san calls out from behind me, but just as she does, the, the imminent threat rushing towards what? my back. I turn around in surprise, it can't be. <laughs> Looks like you've saved me some time while I was out running errands! Oh dear lord, look who's here. What? You're- General Teddy gives me an evil sm smirk. <laughs> Extremely power powerful vision of noise, far worse than before, is everywhere around us. Kuchikawa squats down while covering both her ears. It's all I could do to keep from failing to falling to What's my own knees. This is Labrys's interference pattern. Mm -hmm. As thanks for cornering the real one, I'll show you something. Oh, it's this scene. Oh, hey, Zach. <laughs> I need to like to everything in me not to click off the stream when the stupid bear decides to show his pathetic fort face again. Hey, be nice to him. Hello, Lapras. Wait, Zach, if you're here, can you do me a huge favor? Is YouTube lagging? Because I'm watching it right now and it does not seem like it's <laughs> lagging at all, which is kind of weird. The only list from uh, Mimi crying to spell. But what it reveals is something I wasn't expecting. Another Labrys? Nah, it ain't. Not anymore? Really? So YouTube isn't lagging? Wait, yes. You said yes, but nah. British Snorlax said no. Oh, look at this. We get Lapras is store. Wait, then whose is this? It's probably Shadow Lapras. Okay, I need to see something before we we end this. I need to check and see if it's lagging. So I'm just going to do a fighting. Hello, Adachi. Nice to see you. Let's fight a... We can fight Rise. Oh my god. I forget. I'm going to see if YouTube's lagging. 
and it lags periodically. That is really strange. What is this funky ass song playing? Do you want my attention that much? I'm gonna show you my power. Uh huh. Um, one. Oh shit, I haven't played a Dachi in a while. Wait, what? Okay, it's not lagging anymore. Interesting. I guess YouTube's just being stupid for some time. Come on. Oh god, I got electrocuted. Wait. Ow. Wait, I'm Marin Carmen. I don't know what that means. You did great. I'm so proud of you. Just done that for as long as I can remember. Interesting. Your abilities are clear. If you're gonna make a comeback as an idol, then get back to work. Get out of here before your agency gets mad at you. <laughs> That's the Dachi way. Well, who else can we? I want to fight one more person. I don't know who this guy is. Between dream and reality, Ken. Mind and matter. Now, why don't you introduce yourself? We can fight Elizabeth. Picture in your head your own appearance. Wait, I don't want to. As your alter ego. I want to do this. Play along. We could fight Marie. Let me see this. I wonder. Stages do we have? Very well. They're playing for keeps. Let's see how Marie like fights. I hate looking after brats, you know? Oh. Oh, you're... Uh-huh. Poems. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of you. No mercy. Let's see what we got. Heat riser. Chops. Oh my god, it's raining. Really 
What are you gonna throw at me? I don't know what that is. You're not even gonna let me use my ultimate. I kind of wanted to use my ultimate. Can you hit me a bit so I can use my ultimate? Wow, you... Really? <laughs> Whatever. Can you hit me a bit? Just hit me. Thank Just keep hitting me. I want to use my ultimate. Keep it. Keep! Thank you. Alright, what's my ultimate again? Got it. No, oh, I didn't get it! Wow, that's dis disappointing. Damn, I thought I could get that. You did great. I'm so proud of you. I got you. Not bad. Two wins. Try again. Fan teamwork, blah blah blah. Fine, I'll do it against like Kanji or something. I want to see what Adachi's ultimate is. Does this place exist? You want to play with me? Oh my God, he's so gold! He's got the golden Adachi after a hundred kills. Let's try it. Where's Kanji? Wait, actually, you want to see something freaking crazy? Mm, okay. uh, da, da, da. Chie, right? God, evil Chie. I wish you good luck. Here's a lesson for you. You act all high and mighty, but, you, but you're a loser. And you're just a loser. But you lose it, you're just a loser. <laughs> What is this song? Wait, no, this is from uh. Wow, you're pretty well P3 made. Fest. I'm impressed. Hello, Chie. How you doing? <laughs> Round one. Fight. Hello, Chie. Don't let him be attacked. Don't let him be attacked. Don't too slow. Me now. Don't too slow. Come on. Not bad. Oh man, my side's gonna Maybe try Adachi. making the enemy stronger. I might. That's actually a brilliant idea. Alright. Go ahead, get, can you get me, can you get me going? Get me going. Alright, perfect. Get it, get it, go, go! I got it! Wait, you lose, you just lose it. Oh! Do you understand now? Adachi. Not too shabby. Today's clash is nearly underway. Oh wait, I don't want to do it again. I hate. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! One. We should be evenly matched. Yeah, my ass. Not bad. How do I up the uh, difficulty, though? That's the real question. Welcome to the Velvet Room. 
This place exists between dream and reality. Mind and matter. Is it, let me go, like, maybe go to settings. Game settings. Game difficulty. I'll kick it up to normal. Wait, really? That's all they have? Alright, let's see how, how hard that is. Welcome to the Velvet Room. You wanna play with me? Picture in your head your own appearance as well as your alter ego. Yeah, oh my god, Teddy! I heard that. I'm gonna come. What? I heard that, Teddy. I heard that. Defeat all enemies standing in your way. Oh well, I guess I'll deal with you. Oh, what is he doing in the TV? Get him out! His Majesty from the TV Kingdom. Wrong. One. I hate daddy. You won't hit me. You won't hit me. I hate Teddy. I hate him. I hate him so much. Something like this. God. Boring. Oh my god, YouTube's lagging again. Why? It just happens periodically. Is it me or is it YouTube? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Teddy. I'm really putting you into like a, a rough spot. I feel bad. <sighs> what a waste of energy. Adachi. Yeah, why is he, why is it lagging periodically though? That's just that's, that's the real question. You know what? Doesn't matter. That was well done. Yeah, yeah, friendship, teamwork, blah, blah, blah. I still won. Results beat idealism. Nice. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Huh, Alright. I think I'm gonna end the stream there. Because, um, I need to figure out why YouTube is lagging so much, because... I have no clue why it's doing that. Maybe because it's being stupid. I don't know. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, Mitsuru's like, Mitsuru's arc wasn't that bad. It was okay. I mean, it was more just seeing what Mitsuru, I thought Mitsuru was going to talk more about like what they were doing beforehand, but yeah, that's whatever. Recommend I guess next? Okay, I'll probably do I guess next. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really got much else to say, so thank you guys so much for watching, and next stream.